guys, so we are up in the room now, so we just actually had a little bit of time just to kind of have a bit of food, just take a break and just kind of just recharge off that journey. So we're gonna head out to Katajusha and yeah, we're just gonna go drive out there and then we're gonna do a subset of Katajusha today, so yeah. About 40 minute drive, we're gonna maybe try and get some drone footage. Um, obviously, I have to make sure that we're not in, in some of the natural park. And thankfully, I've already got my permits. That's great. But just you can't fly a drone around Uluru or Katijuka. Right, so now we're going to make a move and get there for sunset and then come back. We go for some dinner then. Okay, so we'll see you on the next one. So we're just on the way to the car now. And it's absolutely baking, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like three o'clock in the day. It's meant to get really cold at night. And so I have like four to five minutes at Cardigan and it's meant to, but I don't know if it will. joking i've had to put a mask on because i don't know if you can see that on the video there's so many flies look at this look at my face so many flies Woo! So we got some absolutely fantastic drone footage as you probably already saw. So now we're just walking up to do look up. So this is what you have to do when you're actually getting smashed in with, with uh, flies. Oh, right. look at that bad. Yeah, I really hope you can see it on the camera it's on my a face. It's gel on your hair, I think. Mm. They're stuck you. Hi, right, so we just made up here. <laughs> I'm sorry how this looks, but literally. <laughs> but I hope you can see this. They don't want to come near you. They're so far near you. I think there's one in the lens. This is the oldest. This is Katajuka. Amazing. The only thing that would make this better if there wasn't so many flies. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, like <laughs> sun's going down over there. And then I've got the cataclysm over here. Beautiful. <laughs> Just finishing up here now at the sunset. You can see it's absolutely empty here. So we're really fortunate that it was only two other people here and they were lovely yeah. as well. They were really nice. So. Yeah, quite down here. I expected like because there's one like two look at like or there's only one here at Camp Street the sunset. Mm. Um, so yeah, really well, yeah. yeah, no, really nice. Sky looks absolutely amazing. Flies have gone. Flies <laughs> are gone. The nets, <laughs> the nets are off. I'm sure we're all raving about that. <laughs> I definitely head up here. This is called June Lookout. And just one more quick one, guys. Just as we're on the way back now. So just a little tease for tomorrow. For tomorrow, we've got the field of light for a sunrise, and we're also doing a helicopter in the afternoon. Helicopter ride over Uluru and Katajuta. Okay, I can't really pronounce that really bad. But. And then the next day, then we're doing a camel sunrise, and we're doing a Segway tour as well. So we're going to go doing Segways around Uluru as well. So yeah, super excited for that. And uh, we will see you later on. Hi everyone, so it's half four in the morning now. We are going to go and do the field of light tour. It picks up at five. Just gonna jump up now, get dressed, and head out to a sunrise at Uru. Alright, so we're just walking here to get the bus. It's just gonna be quiet because obviously there's still people that's probably gonna be asleep. It is five o'clock in the morning. So we just got the bus, looking forward to the light. <laughs> All 
All right, so we're just here now. So we're walking through. As you can see, it's pretty dark at the moment. That light you see in the front is Stay's walking head. Leading the way. Not a fear on her at all. <laughs> so it's pretty cold here. Hopefully this audio is decent actually because I've got the microphone in. So, so that's the field of light over here. Absolutely fantastic. So I've been walking around and it's absolutely beautiful, definitely recommend it. It's something like you've never seen before, it's, it's just mad. It's a little bit chilly, so definitely if you're, if you're coming in, I personally would, would recommend a jump up. You well. definitely need a cardigan or something, yeah, something, something to throw on, yeah, cold or something. The next plan is obviously to go up there, see if we can catch a bit of a, bit of a sunrise on Capuchuga. But then once we finish here, then go back for breakfast and then later in the afternoon, then we've got a helicopter. All right, next one. Alright, so this is the field of light in the morning. Sunrise is coming up. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely amazing. A load of mosquitoes that are hanging above, hanging above me. I think it's because of my hair gel. How's it going? <laughs> really? Yeah. Look forward to doing the helicopter later. In fact, you can see Uru over, over in the background there. Yeah, it's, just... it's amazing. 77 per person, I think. And I think we should be getting a hot drink as well. Right, so we're just leaving now the field of light. Um, absolutely amazing. We've got some beautiful pictures and videos. So the flies are starting to come out now, <laughs> which is just, as you can imagine, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we're going to head back now to the hotel, probably get some breakfast, and then probably jump out of the car, go for a drive around yeah. before the helicopter later on. One more quick look. <laughs> we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Lighteners of two dumplings. I can't wait. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Basically, just gonna be fuel for the day. Fuel for the day. We've got pancakes on the way. We've got poached eggs on the way. Absolutely gorging ourselves like we promised we wouldn't do. Yeah. So let's go and eat. So we just got our last course. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> got a few pancakes. A bit of fresh cream. Lucky you get to listen to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the buffet. So you get your buffet dinner and you get your buffet breakfast here. Let's see if we can give us a munch. Oh my god, yummy. This looks absolutely delicious. Pancakes. <laughs> What's up guys? We have made it back to the apartment. Breakfast was amazing. <laughs> Stuffed. Really actually trying to hold it all in here down here now at the moment. So we're going to head out again to Kalajuta direction and we're going to do the Walpa Gorge or the Valley of the Winds. Don't really think we're going to have time to do the Valley of the Winds to ride today. So we're going to do one of the walks anyway. I think Walpa Gorge is like an hour walk. It's 20 past 9 in the morning. So yeah, we're going to head off now and try and get to up there as soon as possible. It probably takes about 40 minutes to drive and you can't really get to these places if you don't have a car. So we were lucky in the end Very lucky. that we managed to book a car. That's where we're going to head off now. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one.
right now to Walpa Gorge. Walpa. Walpa. <laughs> We're gonna go and do a bit of a walk out there. And probably gonna stay there probably for no more than an hour because then we have to come back because we've got the helicopter ride. We already have a huge amount of time, so it should take us about an hour and then bump back to the resort for our helicopter ride. If it's anything like the, the helicopter we did in Hamilton Island, if you haven't seen that already, I'm gonna point up here. There's a little wee link up here to watch that Rich. video. <laughs> help link, me. link, link, link. Help me, help me, help me. Just like click my fingers, there's a link. Hold on, if you haven't seen that already, then check out. So that was just a little clip there of the one in the time. So yeah, so if you haven't seen that already, then definitely check out the full video and the link above on this top right hand side. So that's it. Uh, so uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, so we just arrived at Walpa. <laughs> Walpa Gorge. Flying at vibe. As you see, you're flying at vibe. There's so many flights. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. What would you do without these things up? You would be, you would have a major issue. Yeah. Some people aren't using them and that's fair enough, but. It's good because like, you don't look really hilarious when you're using them because everybody looks without them. Yeah. There's nobody without them. So. It's about a 40 minute drive across. 40 minute drive from Airs Rock Resort. Just walking up here now and it's hot. But the same that there's people that actually die walking along here. It's because when they've been walking up, they haven't brought enough water. At a certain time of the day, it's really, really warm. So I think any morning that comes off these walks, like after like 12 o'clock in the day, I think or something, because yeah. it gets like up to like 36 degrees. So we're just on the way back now. We want to get back to Ayers Rock Resort so we can then go and get ready for the helicopter. Lovely place up here, definitely recommend it. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go the whole way through today, but hopefully we will before we finish up. So yeah, we'll see you at the helicopter. Alright guys, so we got back to the room. So we're about to go catch a helicopter now. We fly Uluru as well. So we will see you there. How can I compare thee when no one ever ever could come close? Look around, but I can't see. That is usually just how it goes. Brought a new horizon. Open up our doors to something more Spun me round and you shook me Got me tainted to the core So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like you But I keep crashing back For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like 
the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear us. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> it was very, very quick. Very so quick. So, yeah, I felt like it was like over very quickly, but yeah, it was amazing. So quick, yeah. I'm gonna move on now because we're gonna be heading back to the hotel so we catch up then. What's going on, everyone? So, we're just on our way now to Uluru. So, we're just going to do a sunset at Uluru. I think we're fine. It was really quiet yesterday for sunset, so we'll see. All right, see you there. down here now at the Uluru sunset viewing point. It is absolutely fantastic. Trademark saying. <laughs> Actually, now I've seen the size of it, I would have saved you. Hi guys, so we're just finishing up here. Yeah, I hope you can see Uda in the back here. Uh, you probably saw absolute massive snake. Massive, but there was a snake that went past my foot. Yeah, literally, Chris was like, ah, we were all like, oh my god, are you okay? And then he was like, it was a snake. We were like, what? Yeah. So now we're just going to move on. We're going to go back to the hotel now because we're absolutely wrecked. Flies everywhere. Flies everywhere. want to get away from snakes. So, alright. All you can eat buffet. Plate number two dessert. <laughs> Plate number five overall. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely out of control. This is actually something wrong with us. So what would you get? Shortbread? Because you didn't get that much compared to me. <laughs> oh god. Right. Nice. I'm an absolute devil of shortbread. Yeah. That's delicious though. Mmm. Let's tuck in. What's going on everyone? So today is our last full day here, then tomorrow night we're flying home. So today we're going to do a sunrise tower tour and we are going to do segways. So segways are on like the base of Uder, it's like 10km around the base. Let's make a move, let's go down to where the bus pick us up at the front of the hotel and let's head off. How are you getting on? Oh my god, I don't know what's coming up. King Louis right here. Don't reach your face, There we go. Come on. Come on. Good
recovery so we stopped for a bit of a summarise there. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Flies are crazy. Um, Camels are actually grand, like they're very like stable, and, like slow moving, it's bumpy as hell. So we're sitting on Louis' name is, and he's a bull, and he's got a massive hump. Bull cave. He's a bull cave. <laughs> a bull, bull, bull. <laughs> the views are absolutely epic, like what an experience. Amazing. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're just coming to the end of the camel tour. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god, it was really really good. Like a lot better than I expected it. We'll see you when we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a head for the head like Oh, oh, my Up and over. That's him. Oh. Same thing, mate. Oh, hang on. Lean back for me. Bring your right leg up. I'm not that flexible. <laughs> if he jumps up, yeah, with one leg either side. No. Come on, please. He's a handsome dude, isn't he? Beautiful. Look at that big floppy lip. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his canine teeth, which he's not going to show us. Are you going to show us? You're not going to yawn this morning. You made a bloody liar of me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good size of See all his teeth in there? Oh, yeah, wow. That's why we put a muzzle on him. Look like a shark. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Are you serious? Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. When we cast over those big canines, just they stop growing. Yeah. So the reason why it's muzzled is so you don't get bitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was hilarious. Absolutely epic. Oh my god! What a morning! Hilarious. <laughs> just reminiscing on how amazing that was, and that bread was. I literally had about five or six slices of that rosy bread or whatever it was. Yeah. It was delicious. Okay. Alright, we'll see you next one. So we just got down here to the Uluru Segway Tours. Yeah, so really looking forward to this. And we're going to jump on the Segway. So yeah, let's see how we go. How are you feeling? Excited. You I'm know? nervous. I hope I'm um, going to like, use it properly. But I have to move that. There you go. So if you want to, you might have to sit down. Mm -hmm. Put your knee pads on. Slip your foot through that and adjust it to the Strapped in. <laughs> I just got out of jail and I ain't going back. I ain't point. going back. How you feeling? Oh God, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't look as easy as I thought they would be. <laughs> Number nine for today. So hands up on the handlebars. Lean forward with me. Look at you.
to the end of our Segway tour. It's been absolutely amazing, really great experience. Would definitely recommend doing a Segway. It wasn't even too expensive, so I highly recommend it. And I'm gonna have to come off camera now, so yeah, definitely check it out. All right. We're back. So we're just back to the car. Absolutely amazing. It was, oh my God, it was absolutely brilliant. A lot better than, again, a lot better than we expected. Um, yeah. Really, really good. So it was very warm, so if you're coming out here, you need to bring loads of water. They gave us some stuff to put in, into the water. It was like hydrolytes or something. Hydrolytes, yeah. Great the segue guys, like they keep um, reminding you, like, oh, drink off, like, do this, do this, stop. Yeah, you stop plenty of times so you can do that, so. All that kind of stuff, so yeah, really, really good. The plan is now probably just to chill out. And if anyone's noticed my hair, what we call hat hair. Oh, cool. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Hi guys, so just a real quick one. Decided just to come back and get some food. Now we stopped in Gecko's Cafe. We just got a vegetarian pizza. And as per usual, I got the Aussie burger. So nice. Is it good? Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So we just got this ahead of time, just because we're obviously going to be going to do a, a sunset again. This is just Gecko's Cafe, and it's in the town square area. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's eat. Hey. <laughs> Hi right, guys, so about to head off now for our last sunset here at Uluru. We're just going to go to the sunset viewing point. I'm going to head there now and go check it out. Going to get some nice pictures and maybe another video or two. So, yeah, we'll see you there. up here now that's the Uluru there in the background absolutely beautiful we actually stopped up the road today we didn't actually go down to the viewing point it's absolutely empty here so it's nice we're gonna head back to the hotel now might get a few beers but now hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you back at the hotel morning guys so we are now on our last day so this is sunday morning here now we were really planning on trying to use today to do those bits and pieces that are around where we can't get to by car so you can do a digital Didgeridoo. Performance? Couldn't say. It. And uh, we'll see now if we can get to those performances later. Bye bye. Alright, so breakfast the last day. We said we're just going to go all out. Can't wait to get a teeth into it. Yeah, it's Beautiful. Let's see. Alright, one course down, second course. So we've got pancakes, we've got freshly whipped cream, we've got some maple syrup. Over here, we've got some pastries that we're going to be munching on now and for probably the rest of the day. Yeah. Right here we got a beautiful little Sheila. <laughs> a little fresh cream pancakes and some jam. Got some jam in. Mm. Oh wow. Baby. Delicious. Alright. Let's eat. Alright, so not so we can hear this, but we're just going out to the didgeridoo workshop. Wind's probably really bad, so we're not going to sound as too long, so... <laughs> What's happening there? It's moving. The tongue will be moving. Now put your hand on your diaphragm. You go... <laughs> What's happening there? The diaphragm should be going in and out. <laughs>
By now they're just doing it into water, so they're seeing how they can manage making the sound in the water at the moment. And yes, there's loads of flies. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was a lovely way I think to finish off our trip here. We're going to be waiting wait, just waiting for the bus to come and collect us. So I think we're probably gonna leave it there. Overall, amazing trip. Absolutely amazing, unbelievable experience. Everything that we did. I don't even know what was my highlight. Bill of light, camel, segways, builder in general, sunset, sunrises. Yeah. Like everything. A couple of top tips. First one is hire a car. But chores and everything is all fine, but you need to hire a car yeah. if you really want to get the full experience. It's the best way to see it, really. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tip two is Flynet. As you can see, I'm wearing one. I've been wearing one most of the video. Mm -hmm. Wear a Flynet. <laughs> get them online. It flies like some people more than others. Like 10 or 15 quid on, on it on Amazon. Best job. Fly spray doesn't work apparently, so just don't bother. Even, even wait for that. Mm. Okay, so we will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. And if you liked it, then definitely follow us for our next one. It's going to be a whopper. Whopper! <laughs> Make that noise again? No! <laughs> 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 it's not going to be And on that note, we will end the video now. <laughs> Lies are making us lose our minds. <laughs>